Okay. Next up is Ryan Mulligan with Home Manager Template. So this is his project, which provides a quick start template for using Home Manager in a more reproducible way. So you don't have to install Home Manager and it uses pinging. Pinning, I mean. Hi, uh, my name's Ryan Mulligan, and I'm going to talk about Home Manager Template. Uh, you can visit it at GitHub, Ryan TM, Home Manager Template. Um, why would you want to use Home Manager first off? Home Manager lets you reproduce your config, uh, your user configuration on it instantly on new computers and also on multiple computers, so you can have consistent configuration across computers. It also lets you leverage common configuration, a common configuration ecosystem. So Home Manager maintains a set of NixOS-like modules that lets you uh, use other people's work and then lets us have less duplicate work. Uh, what is Home Manager? Well, it lets you organize your home with NixOS-like configuration. So there's a file called home.nix, which is very similar to your configuration.nix in NixOS. And then uh, there's Home Manager Switch, which is like NixOS Rebuild Switch for switching to a new configuration. Um, it does not require uh, NixOS. You can use it on Linux systems, uh, any Linux system, to configure your user environment. All right, so what's Home Manager template for? It's for people that are allergic to installation instructions, uh, people who don't like state, and people who want maximum reproducibility. Um, so let's get into the details about how you can use it. Um, all right, so yeah, what is Home Manager template? Uh, it's a template file structure that basically it's just a Nix shell where Home Manager is installed and all the dependencies are pinned, so you don't need to install Home Manager. All right, so here's how you use it. First, you install Nix, then you go to Home Manager template uh, repo, and you click Use this template. And then you clone your repository onto your computer that you want to configure. Then you can update the dependencies to the latest version by running the update dependencies script. And then uh, you can edit home.nix, and then switch to your configuration by doing switch shell command. All right, so here's an example minimal configuration that you might have when you start out. So first, you need to specify uh, your name. Uh, this is a Nix file. And your home directory, where you want to configure, and then the state version that you're currently on for Home Manager. And then you need to specify um, that, your, that Home Manager will manage your shell. And this is necessary with Home Manager template because it doesn't install Home Manager. So you need to uh, have some other hook into Home Manager's hooks. And the, that one way to do that is to have it manage your shell. Uh, and then you can install various packages. There's lots of other configuration options available in Home Manager. Um, and they're available in the manual. So after we have this home.nix file created, then uh, we run switch. And then in my example, I have uh, installed the package Kausei. So we can say, now we are, have Kausei available, we can say, hello, NixCon2020. Um, so that's the very basic, quick overview of Home Manager template. It's a very simple wrapper around Home Manager. So I recommend you check it out. It's very quick to install. And um, then also check out Home Manager, which is a great project. And the manual for Home Manager has all the details about additional um, configuration options that you should use. If you'd like to look at the slides for my talk, they're available here. And you feel free to email me uh, with any questions you might have or any comments you might have. Thank you very much for your talk. Thank you to the organizers and all the attendees.